Hey guys, welcome to game three between Bonbon bon and Doodle. This is going to be on Sylphid, so the player is actually really favoring the three player map set for whatever reason. Bonbon, bon, 12 o'clock location, pink Protoss, bottom left hand corner, we have Doodle starting as the teal Protoss. Doodle down 2 0 early to start. And Sylphid reminds me of Longinus, honestly, as far as at least base structure and PvP, where you've got a wide open natural expansion. There is something closer to a ramp here with the Zerg Egg and this tree doodad, so it's easier to plug against early pressure. And then kind of a weird, maybe I should have pulled up, uh... yeah, maybe I should have pulled up Titan Reactor for this one too, just to kind of show you how weird this, because this actually is a ramp. This actually is a ramp, but it's hard to tell on the mini map. This is where Titan Reactor could actually be a big uh, service to the community at large. Anyway, Bon Bon thus far, so it felt like Doodle had a concept last game. Seal his opponent in, utilize the inverted ramp. It just didn't feel like there was the, the follow through. Maybe it was just over dedication of, of cannons and things along that periphery edge. There was a concept there. And I'm wondering if Doodle's actually just gonna try to pull back to his kind of standard gameplay. Because it feels like maybe game one, he's like, ah, Bon Bon outthought me there. Now I'm going to try to outthink him on Gladiator. It didn't pay off, but I'm wondering if Doodle just plays a heads-up game, a heads-up macro game. And utilizes some of his superior troop movement with some, I don't know, early three-gate pressure, something along those lines, if he ends up in a better scenario overall. He's going to get first scout. He's going to see the uh, 12, I think that was 12-12 gate, but 12-13 gate, approximately. Doodle, in the meantime, opening up Assimilator first. He's going to build that first zealot and migrate probes into that Assimilator. Pylon already positioning towards the natural. Due to finding nothing in the bottom right-hand corner, Bon Bon is now going to know where to send his troops. And let's see if he follows up with an Assimilator or, does, or goes for that similar build to Game 1. Three Zealots out, we'll have to see once that 100 Minerals hit. That's usually a big key indicator for this probe is to look for that Assimilator grab to know whether there's going to be a flood of Zealots to follow up or whether there's going to be a transition back after the initial three. Seven X core about halfway finished. Second Zealot going to take the front. And it looks like a pylon being hid to the corner and a gas deal from Doodle. Wow. So Doodle saying, you know what? You're gonna, you're zealot all in at this stage, and I'm gonna try to out macro you. Probe taking some free hits, shield battery down, and he might need it here. Might want to cancel that assimilator to get some resources back, and maybe even plop down a second gateway. First dragoon on the way. So two zealots on defense, three zealots making their way in. There is that shield battery to potentially do some trade, and actually the assimilator finishes. And I wonder if we're going to have a matter pylon down. Yeah, Doodle also planting a matter pylon. So getting very, very aggressive. Saying, yes, I'm going to beat you heads up macro. Two on one. Shield battery tap. And a stutter step. The Dragoon now entering. Still holding the corner. Really trying to get the most out of that shield battery. The Zealots still trying to shove their way through. They all have taken base damage here. And Doodle doing a really good job of microing on top of that shield battery to mitigate damage of these Zealots. So I don't even know that these Zealots are going to get a single probe kill. Three Zealots off the line working on that pylon, which... And this Dragoon getting pushed in. So Doodle making very aggressive statement here with the follow-up. The pylon finally wiped out. Bon Bon grabbing his natural expansion... With everything that's been spotted, keep in mind this assimilator also provides a degree of scouting information as far as seeing the forge and everything else plop down. So Doodle, now pressing forward with his two Dragoons, might want to wait, wait for a third. He's actually dropping a robotic facility, going one gate robo. So is he just going to follow this up with Reaver, looking much stronger in this game, making big statements after game one and game two? 
skipping Dragoon Range, I believe, to get that robotics facility out earlier. Yeah, now working on Dragoon Range. Second gateway in production. Bon Bon with five Zealots walking out. A Dragoon getting isolated. And actually, Bon Bon with some serious troops to follow this up. So Doodle needs to be careful. The Dragoon pressing forward, trying to draw some of these troops back, and it's not going to happen. So now it is one, well, technically two, on six. And Doodle might have gotten caught with his pants down, which is unfortunate because it was a really strong opener. Dragoon wiped out at the natural expansion. A Zealot might try to buy some time for blockade. But it's going to be two Dragoons trying to plug the gap against six Zealots. The shield battery is there. The robotics facility also being scouted. Probes pulling off the line to try to get a drill. Decent drill. The Dragoons trying to pull back. Unfortunately getting messed up by their own probes. Now some additional drilling happening. Probes trying to attack along that line. A Zealot able to mix it up. This is also hurting... Some of Doodle's economy, keep in mind. Four Dragoons now out. One Zealot left attacking the shield battery, not part of that fight. It looks like this is going to get cleaned up. But Doodle does need to follow this up with some sort of damage because he's now down 30 to 18 as far as the raw worker count. And had a lot of economic disruption in between. So it looked like a very aggressive opener, which I felt like he was going to try to spike the ball with is now turning into a follow-up that is actually looking in Bon Bon's favor. Observatory warping in. Doodle needs to get aggressive and make something happen. Third gateway, honestly, I would like to see a fourth gateway out for Bon Bon and a flood of Dragoons. Only three Dragoons out on the front. These three cannons would be able to hold that back. A fourth cannon at the natural. And now Bon Bon, recognizing he's in a stronger economic position, just making sure... Nothing sneaky has been grabbed out on the map. Doodle at least able to take down a cannon. Waiting on that reaver to field. Is he also going for shuttle speed? Does not look like it. So first, following it up with Observer, wisely so, considering game one. There's the fourth gateway. So now Doodle, with his Dragoons and Reaver, need to find an advantage. Just eating fire here losing two dragoons on the front really expending troops he can't afford to drop right here in the mid game 10 supply lead for bon bon keep in mind a lot of that is in probes right now doodle trying to draw troops back i like bon bon actually forwardly or aggressively moving forward with these dragoons to make sure that the attack is not happening near his natural expansion trying to draw doodle's troops to the south this also creates a nice pincer situation where reinforcements moving in can really maybe negate that shuttle advantage basically the reaver would have to take fire from two locations doodle recognizes it so he's trying to chase down this is just buying more time for bon bon to capitalize on that superior economy so nice play here overall doodle trying to re-engage getting harried though and bon bon just with these constant moving up yeah he's sacrificing a dragoon here and there but that's also buying time for more dragoons to take the front to just outnumber and overwhelm doodle with the follow-up and there the shuttle getting caught out of position and wiped out so the reaver taking free fire now from both directions and that i believe took out doodle's last shot to get back in this match bon bon looking incredible with the follow-up so despite all the shenanigans early, Bon Bon able to force a victory on his side. And all of a sudden, Doodle on the verge of elimination in the grand final. At many points in this Hatsu League series was my favorite, uh, my favorite to take it. But Bon Bon really showing a strong opening. 3-0 over Doodle going into game four. This is a best of seven, so Doodle still has a shot. Thanks for listening.